Welcome back to our channel, a journalist named Chris Mortensen, who had spent decades reporting on the National Football League for ESPN and who had earned multiple awards, passed away unexpectedly on Sunday. Mortensen had been a writer for ESPN. All of Mortensen's career had been devoted covering the National Football League. He was 72 years old at that point in time. In an interview with ESPN, Mortensen's family acknowledged that the information that was provided about Mortensen was accurate. Furthermore, in January of 2016, he was given a diagnosis of throat cancer at the stage 4 level. Nonetheless, the reason for his passing has not been disclosed. He passed away. Mort was widely respected as an industry pioneer and universally beloved as a supportive, hard-working teammate, said Jimmy Pitaro chairman of ESPN, in a statement that was posted on X slash Twitter. Mort lived a life that was full of encouragement and hard work. Mort was a pioneer in the industry. Mort was a pioneer in the industry. By covering the National Football League with an extraordinary level of competence and enthusiasm over the course of several decades, he advanced to the pinnacle of his profession and achieved the highest level of success. Colleagues and fans alike will miss him tremendously. And at this time, our thoughts and best wishes are with his family and friends. We are sorry for your loss. We are sorry for the loss you have suffered. Mortensen began his career with ESPN in 1991 and continued to report on the National Football League for more than three decades after he started his job with the network. The National Football League broadcasts on ESPN and the Sports Center program both prominently featured him as a contributor on a consistent basis. Both of these programs were called Sports Center. Furthermore, Mortensen was accountable for breaking news for ESPN on a consistent basis, including the disclosure that Peyton Manning would be retiring from the National Football League in the year 2016. In addition, he was honored during the ceremony that was held in the same year to induct him into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. In addition, the Pro Football Writers of America rewarded him with the Dick McCann Award, which is one of the most prestigious awards in the industry. The year in which each of these occurrences took place was the same. In the year 2023, Mortensen decided to step down from his position at ESPN in order to devote his attention to his health, family, and faith responsibilities. As a means of meeting his commitments, he committed this action. Between the years 1983 and 1990, Mortensen was employed by the Atlanta Journal-Constitution writing for the publication. He covered a number of different sports teams during that time period, including the National Football League, the Atlanta Falcons, and the Atlanta Braves for the Atlanta Braves. In 1987, he was honored with the George Polk Award for his investigative work. This award was handed to him in acknowledgement of his research. During the years 1989 and 1990, Mortensen was employed by The National, a sports daily, and was one of the first writers to be hired by the organization. Among the first authors to be engaged by the journal, he was one of the founders. Additionally, he was a contributor to Sport Magazine, a columnist for the Sporting News, and a consultant for the CBS sports program, NFL Today. All of these roles were held simultaneously. In addition to his existing responsibilities, he participated in each and every one of these activities. A total of 18 journalistic honors were bestowed upon him during the course of his career, and he was also presented with two nominations for the Pulitzer Prize. He was also nominated for the Pulitzer Prize on two separate occasions. 1969 marked the beginning of his career as a journalist, and he began his career at the South Bay Daily Breeze, where he held his first employment. 1978 was the year that he was presented with the National Headliner Award for investigative reporting in each and every category that was possible. Before Morkinson served in the Army for a period of two years, he attended El Camino College. Mortensen was born and raised in Torrance, California, and it was there that he received his education. Over the course of approximately two years, Mortensen served in the military. Not only does Mortensen leave behind his wife, Mickey, but he also leaves behind his parents, Alex. Mortensen entered into a marriage with his wife.